The first area which we are going to discuss is dual properties of electron. So electrons it can be a particle and also it can be a wave. Now we are going to discuss on it. Here is the index. I am going to talk about matter. The properties of electrons, the matter wave, particles, about waves and particle versus waves. These are the areas we are going to see now. The property of particle behaving as waves and property of waves behaving as particle as well as waves that's called as dual properties of electrons. You are able to see the wave nature and this is particle nature. Although the duality is not very effective in large matters. In case of light, some phenomena like interference or diffraction can be explained if light is supposed to have the wave nature. You are able to see the waves. You are able to see the waves. However, certain other phenomena such as black body radiation and photoelectric effect can be explained only if it is believed to be a stream of photons have which is having particular character and it's a particle character. Thus, light is said to have a dual character. Such studies on light were made by the great scientist Einstein in 1905. Louis de Broglie, a French physicist in 1924, advanced the idea that like protons, sorry, photons, all material particles such as electron and proton, atom and molecule. A piece of chalk, a piece of stone or iron ball possess both wave character as well as particle characters. The wave associated with a particle is called as matter waves. 